the short and sweet of my 2023 goals. I'm Shannon, writing under the pen name of SD Houston, and welcome to my channel where I talk about writing and my self-publishing journey and occasionally do some productivity sprints. My 2023 goals are broken down into three parts, writer goals, author goals, and YouTube goals. Writer goals. Number one, write an average of 20 hours a week. And this is going to be my number one priority. Number two, draft at least three books. I think this is doable and I broke this down. I have four months to move through the writing process and I did say draft, but I am thinking about the full writing process and I'm including outlining it, drafting, sending out requests for alpha and beta readers. And I'm gonna put together a typo buster team. And my number three, complete three reader magnets because even though I grew my newsletter List, I do not have a reader magnet. My reader magnet at right now that I use on Story Origin is just the first three chapters of my book, which is like one of the worst reader magnets that you can have. Author goals. Number one for me is to go wide with my first series. So draft to digital, Google Play, Barnes and Noble, Ingram Spark. Oh, I cut off the eye and Kobo. I did give myself a firm deadline of October 31st because I want to go wide by the anniversary, the second year anniversary of my books. Number two, spend an average of five hours weekly on marketing. And this includes things like building my newsletter, scrubbing it. I wanna get my newsletter uh, moved to another platform because I am in the paid tier now for MailChimp. Oh, learn Facebook ads. I wanna learn Facebook ads and create more Amazon ads. And number three, publish one to two books. And I honestly feel this is just going to be one book. And the reason for that is a secret reason. <laughs> And I'm not making it secret because I don't want to share it with you guys because you know I'm all about sharing stuff with you guys, especially on my channel. I'm pretty um, transparent. The reason why I'm not sharing it is because I have like this thing where if I say something that I'm going to do that's big, especially something I'm like really excited about and I tell a bunch of people about it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> At least that's my... So it's kind of a superstition kind of like thing. If it works out well with publishing that one book, then it's most likely I will have to push off book two until the beginning of next year. If it doesn't go out well, then I'm definitely going to be doing two books this year. So publishing. It's kind of weird to say that, yes, one book is going to be great. Two books is going to be a sad occasion. But yes, that, that's the idea because I'm really, really hoping that my plan for publishing and marketing that first book is going to be a hit. Anyways, that that's my, my, my hope. All right, so those are the end of my author goals. Next will be my YouTube goals. Now this is what's going to change probably the biggest for me where I'm taking away from my YouTube goals and giving them giving more time to my writing goals. I did a lot of great things this year. I was really, really happy with the things that I accomplished. The greatest thing that I really loved this year was getting my trilogy done, getting the box set out and getting the AuthorTube writing conference off the ground and started and having the great community come around this event and share our knowledge with each other. So those are some really great things that we did this year. So number one, produce and host a 2023 AWC. Well, this is already on the way. It's already going. We already have some signups and we had a confirmation of our special guest speaker no keynote speaker <laughs> he is a special guest speaker too though here is our keynote speaker for the awc 2023 he's also a special guest speaker he's also going to be on the first page critique panel if you guys did not know mark leslie lefave I looked up how to say his name. He is part of the draft to digital company. My number two priority is the AWC. So if everything has to stop and I'll only like to do one thing, it's writing. And if I can only do two things, I'll be writing in the AWC. Number two, spend less time on video creation. Now, when I made this goal, I was like, how the heck am I going to measure this? <laughs> So what I thought was, instead of really coming up with how to measure this, I want to change how I'm doing some things. It's going to be a shorter format. It's going to be more to the point. It's going to be not all the B-roll and the, the film editing and everything I'm doing. As much as I've loved doing that, I really don't have the time if I want to hit my mark with writing. Number three, do daily streams in nano months. I really enjoyed doing the daily writing sprints in November. And of course, it wasn't quite daily because I went to the conference and then got sick with COVID. But I really enjoyed that. Can't do all three, at least two of them. So there, there are all of the goals that I have for next year. Thank you for hanging out with me today and happy writing all.